and it's a touchdown Gerard Johnson seven carries 41 yards three touchdowns tonight Gerard Johnson rushing the ball the extra point is uh, up and it's good now he's 34 plays 274 yards now Bullock has put his foot into it and he's put it two yards deep kind of bobbled for a moment the return by Forrest cuts the corner back uh, to the far sideline shy of the 20 again they will net him only the 17 first down and 10 UAB at their 17 yard line they have just 59 yards of total offense on 26 plays they've mastered uh, two first downs tonight. Webb has his snap drops back across the 10 forced to run with it he's got a first down if he hits to the sideline and he does somebody threw their body at him on that play first down their third of the night in the shotgun one more time and they've handed off and that's a pretty good run that got out uh, from the 33 the line of scrimmage to the 40 picked up seven had a big win against Nebraska at Reed this past week play action. Almost got a sack. Steps up, running with the ball now. Has a first down and more. 45 40, 35 30. And runs out of gas as he crosses the uh, sideline here at the 28 yard line. He has a uh, uh, running back off here to his right in Justin Brooks. And that's Isabel going to run with it across the 20 in the Aggies. Making the catch that uh, the uh, tackle is going to be Michael Hodges. It's a first down and 10 at the Aggie 17 yard line. And him leading it. 28 to 6 and that's a no go right there and a loss back to the uh, 20 second down they just hand it off and that will be a loss back to the 21 and uh, they've got Webb back in on this play three wides right cocks his arm steps up flag down he's going to run he is at the 10 yard line and tackled there by Trent Hunter and Terrence Frederick. They got two flags down on both sides. That's something at the line of scrimmage. Their offensive line right now is McCann's Thomas, formation Seaborn, and Sites. Five players in the backfield. All right, illegal formation. Bring this one back. It's oh. going to be third and 19. Webb, the snap, sets, wanting to throw. And he is trying to get rid of the ball. He is sacked at the 30. As he was going down, he was looking for somebody to throw it to. Well, the freshman's two for two tonight, five for five for his career. Here's the snap, the hold, here's the kick, and this is going to be wide right. Wide right. It had the distance barely, but he missed it wide right. So his first miss of his very young career for the true freshman. High formation behind uh, Gerard Johnson. Fake to pass, and then turned and handed off to uh, Gray, and Gray is going to lose four yards on that handoff. And the Ags with four touchdowns. Been snapped in the shotgun. A, a nice throw here, and stopped at the 35. It'll be a nine-yard pickup. Four for 65, catching the ball now for Morrow. We'll check and see how close that 65 might be to a uh, good figures. He just stepped out of a, a sack there to Gerard, and he's running. He's got a first down. Slides down at the 41-yard line. Time, 16 seconds. Morrow's best game is 78 yards, and I believe that was last year against Oklahoma. Through it, and it's incomplete. Empty in the backfield. This is going to be everybody go deep. Steps back, and he throws, and that is McCoy. One, uh, one second, and time runs out. And McCoy caught the ball at the 45. Got a first down. They go for a sweep there. They got a win on Wednesday here at home against Nebraska. They beat a week ago today. Beat Texas Tech out in Lubbock. Off to a great start. Big 12 competition. Second half's underway. It's going to be the best kickoff tonight. For Bullock, and they're going to say take the knee. He was about five yards, maybe more deep in the end zone that time. And Webb in the first half, five of 13 for just 10 yards and a long of six in his passing. On the ground they go. They get five, six, seven, 10 yard up right at the uh, 30 yard line, but shy there. So we'll give him nine. And they rushing the ball now, 34. I'll check that. Uh, 21 for 117. 21 carries. And it's on the ground again. I think that's the same guy. He's got the first down across the 35 to the 37 yard line. First down and 10 for UAB at their 37. A throw to this side. The tight end just stepped around him, and he's at midfield. He's at the 45 40. And down at the 39 yard line, that's Jeffrey Anderson, who had nine receptions coming in. Lasers are on the move, and the shotgun. He gave it to the tailback who lined up behind him, did Webb, and they get two on that, maybe three. Passing a six for 14 and just 32 yards. 
And a spin move here across the 30. That's a first down. Webb deep here in that shotgun formation. And he thrown a screen to the left side. It's going to net a first down to the 20, the 15, maybe the 10 yard line as they roll out of bounds at the 10. At the 10 and a shotgun. They have motion going uh, from the right to the left. Forrest was the motion man. And now Webb will keep, broke a tackle. He is right at the goal line. Did he get in? He did. He was had somebody wrapped around his waist, Jordan Pugh, and he kept dragging Pugh along the goal line, and finally he fell across the goal line into the end zone. 28 to 12 right now. That comes with 12-14 to go in the third quarter. Steps up, says something to the line. Got to tie it in here on the right side. He's got a split in left. He's got a single setback, and that's Rashad Sh uh, Slaughter. Now he moves back. And he's going to throw, and it is incomplete right at the goal line, intended for Forrest. That was low around his ankles. Tom just told you the Aggies lead now 28 to 12 at the 12 14 mark, and AM about to get first touch here in the second half. Possession times 18 30 for UAB. One of the up backs, that Swope will take it at about the 22. Hits in there, bounces off a guy, gets it across the 30 on a short kickoff. Total offense for AM, 299 yards on 39 plays. They've run 40 and have 198 yards. Single setback, and Gerard just gave it to Cyrus, and Cyrus is going to take a loss at the 30 yard line. And 121 passing attempts. Their opponents completed 61.2% of their passes. We're throwing here. And uh, that is Brandell Jackson, and he what took it away from the defensive back on that play. Brand, uh, Brandon Carlisle. And Swope's checked into the uh, lineup. Brandell Jackson now three catches, 26 yards tonight. Here's the third down play. We're seven out of eight, dancing around on the throw. That's a catch. That's Swope, and he's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Throwing the ball now, 17 of 21, 235 yards. Another first down, the Aggies, number 15. Give it to Gray. The left side turns the corner, 50. Spins around as he hits the 45 and pulled down at the 43-yard line. First down, Texas A&M. First downs, Texas A&M. He faked to Cyrus, and Gerard will keep it across the 40 to the 39-yard line. Second down and six, 10-25 to go. The Aggies lead, 28-12, rolling right, looking to throw, going all the way to the sideline let's rip throws it low at the feet of Jamie McCoy just trying to dump that off before he runs out of bounds and Cyrus to the left now he's moving him to the right plenty of time on the uh, huddle clock throws wide open that's a catch and that's Jamie McCoy again he caught it at the 26 and tackled right there for 45 on Jamie 959 to go the Ags lead 28 12 dancing around in the backfield Cyrus broke a tackle leaps across the 20 goes down at the 18 and two to go for Texas A&M 937 to go we go on the ground it's Gerard and he has a first down at the 15 picked up the first down with the quarterback sweep Got slots both sides and a screen up in the air, and that was batted up and almost intercepted right at the feet of Gerard Johnson. Got two here on the left. Swopes, one of the slot. He's on a, uh, he's a split in that time. Dropping back, throwing the ball. That's a catch, and that is McCoy, and he's close for a first down. It's Jamie at the five-yard line. We've got 8.57 to go. The Aggies lead 28-12 in the third quarter. We go quickly on a handoff. Or was that uh, Gerard? That was Gerard on a quarterback the quarterback sneak. That'll be a first down. Barrera getting his first action of the year, 6'8", or 6'5", rather, and... Uh, 302 pounds. Gerard bottled up back behind the line of scrimmage, which was the four on a first and goal. At Kyle Field, snapped, rolling right, throwing right at the goal line, and it is a touchdown, touchdown at Swope. Yeah, Swope gets his second catch and his first touchdown wearing the maroon and white. Well, they they go to the roll to the right. They had trips to the right sides. It's a triple out. Swope goes down right on the goal line and digs this one out. Nice delivery by Gerard as he rolls to the right. Cleared out by Easy Wachiku. Took Matt Allen out of the lineup there a moment ago, and he was replaced by Patrick Lewis. It looked like he may have been injured, and the extra point is up and good. All right, Bullock has it uh, teed up at the 30. They have Fantrell Forrest standing at the one-yard line. His last kickoff from Bullock went into the end zone. This one will not. They'll come out at the two. It's already back to the 10. 
Slows up. Across the 15. They've not made the 20 on the last two or three of these, and that's out to the 17-yard line. He has passed for two and rushed for three touchdowns. He has five touchdowns then in this game that uh, he's responsible for in the passing or rushing. Here's a handoff. They get nothing there, maybe a yard. Got Moss, Brown, Tony Gerard, Eddie Von Miller in the lineup. Spencer Neely now has checked in. And uh, here is Webb running, and he is going to be sacked as he rolls to the left. Uh, Dustin Harris, one of those on top of him. Sack, he's got a sack and a half now. And a total of six yards lost. Setting up to throw. Here we go, and it's a little high at about the 29-yard line, incomplete. And punts tonight, they're four for a 43-5 average. Kind of sidewinds it again. It's going to hop around and roll dead across the 50 at the Aggie 49, so we're 51 yards away. Aggies lead 35 to 12, 624 to play in the third. David, Dave, back to you. Aggies have it first down and 10 at their 49. Just gave it to Stevens, cuts outside. He's, uh, oh, nice tackle right there at the 45 of uh, the Blazers. He'll pick up six, but a nice, as you said, Dave, a nice tackle by McGaskin. At the 45, air it out again. A catch, broke a tackle. Jamie stretching it out across the 40 to the 39-yard line. Jamie McCoy. The new guys are Terrence McCoy, Don Bishop, and Ryan Swope. Here's a first down and 10 for the Ags. Ahead 35-12, five and a half to go. And it's Stevens again, breaks it across the uh, left side of the line and picks up almost five yards. Favors the hash mark to the right side. The Ags leading here 35 to 12. Going to throw again. A catch. Howard Morrow one more time. Spins out of a tackle. Saying, I'm not going to give up and let McCoy take the lead. I'll get my fifth reception too. Well, they are snapping the ball in a hurry. Here goes Stevens. He dives over the right side. He's close to the 25 yard line. I'm had that last play in there. They're 389 right now on 57. They went to 391. One more time. Snap it. And that will be Stevens again. He's going to push it to the 21-yard line. He's up on the right side, one of the offensive linemen. That was Danny Baker. And Gerard dancing around. Ooh, look at you. Got a guy coming up. He's going to get a first down. We're 11 in a row now on our third down conversion. Morrill now is five catches, 71 yards on Gerard. 13 carries, 59 yards. Give it to Bradley. He broke it. He's across the 10. He's at the five. He's going to score a touchdown. That will go 16 yards, and that looked easy. No, not easy. No, no, it looked (laughs) looked easy. Okay. looks simple. It's simple. That oh, was a him. great, great vision. He, he broke it right up the middle, a quick cut. Once again, the zone read. And then he broke a couple of tackles. He not only great vision and great speed and quickness, but good strength as he broke a tackle and takes it into the end zone. 16-yarder. That puts us way above 400 yards of total offense for the night. 61 plays, 417. Limiting the uh, Blazers to 43 plays, 194 yards. Bullock is ready to kick off. Howard Morrow's knocking on the door of his best game. He's got five for 71. He caught six for 78, I believe, is his best. Here's the kickoff. It will be returned from the three by uh, Forrest again. Uh, oh, great tackle right there. He goes down and knocked down at about the 13-yard line. Ags lead with 3.31 to go in the third, 42 to 12. Webb takes it. Throws from his five to the sideline at the 20, and they kind of roll forward. They're going to get uh, pretty close to a first down at the 23. Second down in the yard, and they stop it. They got a legal procedure. It's going to be second down and six. But here, here's penalties tonight now. Listen to this. Everybody's going to be happy. One for five against Texas A&M. And it was that one uh, one movement penalty for Jamie. Right. Uh, from the UAB 17-yard line. In the shotgun again. Steps up, gonna throw, and he threw a little bit behind the intended receiver that was running back Daniel Bourne. Right there we go. He had 1,000 rushing and 2,000 passing last year. Here's a third down play, and he's under pressure, and he is running, he's gonna be sacked, and it's Featherston. Gonna punt it now on fourth down at about 13. Takes the snap back in his end zone. He kicks away, a sidewinder hit one of the Aggies rolling around down there. And AM got it. Whoa. At the 43 yard line. They hit an Aggie, bounced up. There's a sidewinder. Have a uh, email here from Ross Price, class of 08. He and his family listening tonight in Seattle, Washington. Hello to the 
Price family, we hand off to Cyrus who returns and he just got nigh at the Aggies lead, UAB 42 to 12. You get the first down. Quarterback sneak, right. Gerard Johnson gets the first down easily. Here is first down and 10. Gerard play action, going deep. He's got a guy at the goal line. He overthrew Wachaku, and there is yep. going to be defensive pass interference. Good call. Against UAB and easy Wachaku. Springs bumped no, You know what? I don't think it's a catchable ball, so uh, they're talking about it, Dave. I don't know about that. Wachaku can really run. He definitely ran into him. Let's see what happens. See what they're going to do. Pass interference by number 29 in the defense. It's a 15-yard yep. penalty. They and talked about it. First down. Dry now, that's not a pass there, but he's now 22 of 28, 274 yards and two TDs tonight. Gray hits inside, and uh, they might. I'm going to give him the line of scrimmage. He ends up being pushed all the way back to the 24-yard line. They are running out of third quarter with 41 seconds to go, and ahead, uh, 42 to 12. The right side, maybe a yard, if even that. Got to get it to the seven to keep the string alive. First play, fourth quarter. Ags lead 42 to 12. Empty in the backfield. It's been snapped. Oh, he's being chased, and he is going to throw it, and that's Tannehill. And did he score a touchdown? He did. Wow. <laughs> he leaped up, and the defender, they both went down at the goal line and fell into the end zone. That catch alone is worth the price of the ticket. <laughs> wow, what a catch. Great throw off the back foot. By oh, I was what a chance catch. to look at it again. And they both went up, and Tannehill comes down with the ball. They're reviewing right. the play to see if he actually went into the end zone. The catch is going to be good. Have this. After further review, the play stands as called. Touchdown. Touchdown. Here right, comes the extra point. Tannehill's going to hold. Gibbis is going to snap it, and uh, Bullock's going to kick it. And the Aggies now lead 49 to 12. Short kick. Tackle him. Could be a holding. Limited UAB tonight to 46 plays, 196 yards. And David Isbell has taken over for Webb, and they try the middle. He crosses the 20, shy of the 25. He's at the 24 yard line. Here's second down and four. I'll tell you what's interesting is there's Isabel, wants to throw, does to the sideline, and it's incomplete across the 30. 14 10 to go in the fourth, are leading this game uh, 49 to 12. Play action by Isbell being chased. He throws, and that's going to go incomplete on the sideline across the 30 at about the 32, and defended uh, that time. Jordan Pugh, well, what a George. nice job. He came over the top, was able to avoid the, re the uh, receiver, and knock it down. Just a good job by Jordan Pugh. Going to decline a holding call against UAB. Here's a uh, fourth down, and the punt. That little step to the right, kicks it off the side of his foot. This is a good one. Here's Dustin backing up. First guys went right by him. We're going to get a clip over there against A&M as he starts the return, got back to the 29-yard line. And, uh, Tom, what do you got down there? Well, well, Dave, I got J.C. Scholl. He was one of the four lucky guys, or in one gal, who got to fly in the B-25 in the flyover before the game. What a thrill that must have been for you. It was absolutely fantastic, yes, sir. Um, it was something that we found out about just about a day ago. And I knew that I wanted to get my dad on that plane. My grandfather flew those in the war. Standard, does it, uh, Ernie Gonzalez has a uh, friend listening in Korea tonight. He's listening on the internet in Korea. Here we go on the ground. And uh, Tannehill's taken over at quarterback. And he hands off. Uh, that goes to Bradley. And he's crossed the 20 to the 23. Uh, Major McMullen, God bless you. And thank you for serving your country. Second down and five, four coming up at the 23. And Bradley across the 25 to the 26-yard line. Looking to break the best we've had in the first three games of a season coming close to it right now here's the third down 
And uh, Bradley fights. He didn't get there. No, so he's going to stop right there. Yeah, because uh, he didn't make that first uh, third down. Here's his punt. Oh, it's a nice one. Backing up all the way, calling for a fair catch. <laughs> fair catch <laughs> on his knees at the 25 yard line. And uh, Colby Walker, he's listening in Baltimore. <laughs> first down and 10 at the 25 on the ground. Good job. That'll be a loss of about a half a yard. He has, he had no stats. Second down and uh, 10 from the 25. He will throw. Uh, and that's a nice throw and a good catch at the 39 yard line. At their 39. Show motion going left to right. Go on the ground and fight for the uh, 40, and that's Daniel Bourne. A that's yard be a, and a late flag. It's going to be a 15 yarder, one of their offensive linemen, a little over aggressive. And it's going to move them back 15, I'm pretty sure. That was Matt McCants. After the play, a personal foul, 71 of the defense. It's a 15 yard penalty, and it's second down. <laughs> 10.34 to go, fourth quarter. Ags lead 49 to 12. Try it on the ground, uh, get a little bit there, not much. That'll go to the 28 yard line. A pickup of three, and that's Brooks on their third, third down. down. They, they've had a hard time tonight on third downs. They're two of 12. This is going to be a hard one here at three to uh, third down 21. Very high. Oh, we're going to get defensive. No, yep. nothing. Yeah, there it comes late. Hey, hit him Defensive uh, pass interference that'll go against uh, Jordan Pugh. I think he was trying to play the ball, but he still went through the receiver to get it. I'd have to see it on the replay, but I think this is probably a good call. Todd and Michelle Daniel, class of 90, listening tonight in Okinawa, Japan. Hello to them. We've got Stephen Henley. Uh, there's a penalty against AM. and That'll be our second tonight, so we got two for 20. First down for UAB. That is number 11. They now have 220 yards of total offense. There's Ellis dancing around, throwing the ball, makes a catch. That's a, uh, no, he dropped it. Down here, 49 to 12, but the Aggies 9.50 to go in the game. We're bringing the house, and they're going to throw a screen that. There's nobody near it. And we got a flag down. We get a late hit.